on the web was developed as a proposal for uh, Terminal and then as a commission uh, from the Net Art Awarding um, Agency in 2011. It was um, one of three browser poems that I created uh, for that commission. And it's essentially a translation of the book On the Road by Jack Kerouac. I'm going to show you the original edition of the work and then um, some different kind of ways that I um, even reinterpreted my own project. And I can make a little more space here. Okay, so um, what I wanted to do was recreate On the, on the Road as um, a reading that would take place in the web browser. And so instead of On the Road, um, I renamed the book On the Web. And um, I also wanted to have a kind of play between offline reading and online reading. So um, I read the book offline, and every time I came upon the word road, I would cross it out and print in the word web. Then um, I scanned every page of the book, and I reassembled the book as one long continuous scroll to be experienced in the web browser. Um, I wanted to kind of put back together or reassemble the, the concept of the scroll because when Kerouac, you know, notoriously wrote this book, he taped pieces of paper, typing paper together, and the manuscript in the end was one long scroll. Um, obviously an image here, both of these as uh, Kerouac holding his manuscript scroll. Um, copyright issues, I'm sure with that, but uh, I'll claim fair use as an artist. <laughs> Um, so this is the, the project uh, site, I guess, uh, where the project lives, and uh, a little bit of information about the project. Um, and then essentially you can scroll through and um, view the book page by page, and every place the word web appears, uh, I'm sorry, the word road appears, it has been crossed out, and the word web is in its place. I also wanted um, readers to be able to um, kind of link quickly from every place where there's the word web appears. Um, and it's, it's actually the last occurrence of the word web on the page. So if, you, if you, you can click from web to web to web. So in a sense, you can kind of read this book and you, you can reread sentences in the book that had the word road and see what it sounds like if you would replace that with web. Um, this is sort of the ultimate hitchhiking book, the ultimate kind of cross-country road experience um, from the 1950s. And I wanted to see what it would look like as a browsing book, as a, a book about the web rather than about the road. Um, in my mind, hitchhiking is kind of drifting, and I spend most of my time drifting on the web. So in the book, the word road, you know, it, it's, it really appears more times than you could imagine. Um, and each time it's used, it's, it's alluding to the, the road experience, this sort of wandering, drifting experience that um, really, if you replace that word today with web, in a lot of places it still holds the same kind of um, tone or feeling. I mean, it, you, still, you still understand sort of what he's talking about and you can relate it to your web experience. And um, So that was kind of the idea of the piece. I just, I wanted to see if that replacement would still make sense and I also um, really wanted to design the book for the browser. This is the landing page for the project. Um, and I just want to show there's also um, on this landing page, um, and I'll talk about those half K editions in a moment, um, kind of looking at a project such as this or, you know, any project, I think it's great to show students work that you make or work that you admire that others have made and to use those works as teaching moments. Um, so I have included a little piece about setting up the scroll um, and um, setting up the pieces of tape. So there's some interesting things that happen to make the pages scroll like that. There's some interesting positioning that happens. I won't talk about it now. Um, but also um, some relative positioning on the tape to keep those pieces of tape in the same place over and over again. So if you are teaching a web design class and you have to get into absolute and relative positioning in CSS, um, kind of a nice, I think those are hard things to teach. And so this was a good project for um, showing that. I also want to show, um, I then uh, learned about a book called Code Poems, and I thought it would be fun to see if I could meet the guidelines set forth by the editors. Um, on their website, they, um, they had uh, written comma 5K, which um, 
apparently meant half a kilobyte, uh, but I thought it meant five kilobytes. I don't know. I just thought the comma might have been a typo or something. I don't know. I just thought, really, they can't possibly mean half a kilobyte, which in the end they did. Um, so I created two editions of this, a 5K edition and a half K edition. And it's really interesting to see what does a project look like if you limit yourself, you know, if you put some kind of great limitation on yourself. Um, and in terms of working, you know, we're always trying to make download times faster, um, especially now with smartphones and people accessing the web in places where it's maybe not as fast as it could be. Um, insert joke here about possibly the Wi-Fi connection for you in Chicago, who knows. Um, so um, if I would reinterpret this as a 5K edition, it looks something like this. At 5K, I have no room for images. Um, and I have no room for the tape, uh, mar the tape between. So I could do lines in between. I basically only have like really basic HTML and CSS. And so what I did was I just, um, I just used each sentence where the word road was replaced by web and I just typed in um, each of those sentences. Um, and so that basically representing the, a translation of the book where it's literally just the sentences with the words web. Um, and I was able to get all of the sentences in on um, this on this edition. <laughs> on the half K edition, it looks like this. <laughs> I couldn't even get like more than two or three sentences. It, it really had to be terribly minimal. Um, and it's a drastic difference to see this versus the full-blown project with the scroll and the pictures and the tape and the clicking from web to web. Um, but it was definitely um, a nice challenge to kind of think about what does a project look like when you have such a limited space in order to, um, to represent it.